My name is Joseph Gregory. I'm from Houston, Texas. Native born Texan, lived there all my life. I live down in the Clear Lake area and we're opening a store of Dickie's franchise up in the Clear Lake area across the street from NASA. I spent 40 years as a firefighter, promoting through the ranks, ended up being a chief of training. After my career was over, I just retired a couple of years ago, and so uh, we've always had uh, me and my sons, I have three sons, we always have this friendly competition barbecuing against each other. Opportunity came up, uh, police came up, uh, restaurant closed uh, across the street from NASA, we decided, well, we'll give it a try. So. We went, started checking around, and we started getting information on franchises. As we narrowed it down, of course, we wanted to go with barbecue because that's what we like doing. It's our passion, and, and so the three, my three sons, all of us get out there and barbecue, and we compete against each other. And my specialty is ribs. One of my sons does a pretty good brisket. So we always compete against each other, and we're always trying different things back and forth to see who can do the best. Uh, and that's our passion, so we went with Dickies. Uh, as we decided to go with a, a, a barbecue place, we have zero experience, so we needed some help there to start a restaurant. So we went to Dickies because they offer you so much support. Uh, they, they're behind you all the way. They want you to be successful. Uh, I'm up here in training right now, and I've spent uh, about a week and a half into a three-week training program. And so uh, it, it's intense. It, it teaches you everything from the very front uh, of, of how to uh, start the, the franchise all the way to the opening day. And, and even after opening day, they have a team there that assists you uh, for the couple of days after when you open up. So you're not, they don't throw you to the wolves. They want you to be successful. They want you to get out there and, and, and serve legitimate Texas barbecue and, and serve a great product and, and grow the brand. It's very successful. They've got a great game plan. If you just follow that game plan, there's no way you can fail. As I looked around at different franchises, uh, Dickie's stuck out above everybody because of the support, uh, the training, all the things that they help you with. I have three sons. Uh, one of them is a firefighter also. Followed my footsteps. I have one that's in the Air Force over in Ramstein, Germany. He was instrumental in us going to Dickies all the time as, as a family because he loved the jalapeno cheddar sausage. So we were always taking him there to get that sausage. My oldest son, is a, he's a model, international model. And so he's even getting in on this and, and he loves the barbecue when he's in town. So of course my wife jumped in on this and she loves to kind of egg us on and, and, and help the competition go back and forth. So we all have a, um, a passion for that. And, and that's pretty much why we went to Dickie's uh, and we went to barbecue. Uh, there's nothing better than uh, some good Texas barbecue, a good cold beer, and the experience of sitting in a, a nice restaurant, clean restaurant, and enjoying it with a little country western music. Uh, that's just the Texas experience. So we'll be across the street from NASA uh, Space Center. And so as people come from out of town to go visit NASA Space Center, we hope they'll come across the street and enjoy that Texas experience, that Texas barbecue. Yeah, we'll have a full service bar in there so you can come in and enjoy a cocktail with your uh, dinner. We have an outdoor patio that's gonna have uh, fire pits. So uh, during the springtime when it's nice, uh, you can sit outside and enjoy your barbecue. During the winter time when it's cooler, uh, we'll have the fire pits so you can go out there and enjoy your, your meal around a fire pit, kind of like a little campfire. And, and part of my, my whole life has been, uh, as a firefighter, I worked as a servant and uh, I was a servant to the people. And so now I'm doing just changing roles and, and going to a servant uh, of serving people barbecue. I still enjoy hanging out with the firefighters, talking to the firefighters. I've got a, a deep passion for first responders and military guys. 
So I intend to, to keep contacts with those. Uh, there's a hospital right around us. So now with the uh, with all the COVID, and, and they are kind of a first responder uh, themselves now. So uh, with the hospital there, keeping in contact with the hospital, uh, doing what I can to serve them, uh, help them uh, as, as our heroes.